In this video, we are going to add the delete function for our supplier's data. So, in our supplier's view.php, we have this button delete, and here we added our set some attributes related to the supplier's data. We have the name, the supplier ID also here the class the delete product which we set in our script that if it is clicked then we are going to show this dialog so now let's just update this dialog since we just copy and paste these from the products page so let's delete the title um, delete supplier I show you want to link the this should be a supplier name then there's PID this will be a SID which stands for supplier ID then here the PID we can This must be the supplier name. Then here will be SID, and then here should be delete supplier. Since here we need to update the class, so if class contains the delete supplier, will load or echo the dialog show the dialog also the PID should be an SID then here this is a post request SID then here we have previously we have or we decided to have a single delete file which will be used across all our files or any tables and this is dynamic so we decided to add this table so the file or the script knows what's the table or where to delete the the item or the record so here table products and then we can update this one to the name of our table which is the suppliers so once we have the suppliers we have the delete and then we can just dump see if this will return data or the correct data so let's refresh um, let's open the console let's click the edit we should want to delete facebook let's see so it's suppliers it's id4 about this one Delete Apple, as you can see, it is changed to product number 2. So now let's try to delete if this will work. Oh, there's an error. So let's try to remove this try and catch and see what the error is. As you can see we have an error, fatal error. We have foreign key constraint error. So as you can see here, what we are going to do is if you remember this table is connected 
to this table the product suppliers so if we delete a record inside the suppliers it will return the error since we set especially if they are connected or if it's used in this table so what we're going to do is we also delete the record from the product supplier so um, here we can add so before we delete the main table we can add a delete statement here so here let's remove the include the connection but here we delete main table then here it's gonna delete uh, the junction table which is product suppliers so this script is uh, dynamic so it depends on what the uh, the table since we only run this table uh, if there is a product supplier or need to set a table is equals to the product supplier then you can delete the the ID um, So here a table sorry so the table is a suppliers then we can get the supplier ID and then here we can get the uh, the ID here, the supplier ID, we can get the ID and so here, let's just copy this and then delete from so the name work table the junction table which is the product suppliers where supplier is equals to the ID then this will execute then here it will delete the main data so here if we refresh click the delete facebook there's an error p name is not defined so let's just refresh see if facebook is in the list as you can see it was removed already um, let's just update supplier name then also let's refresh and then try to delete the Microsoft delete this hit refresh or ok and then as you can see Microsoft successfully deleted we ok to refresh and we don't have the Microsoft in the list Let's remove this other two.
as you can see our code is working so now let's go back to our product and I think this will return an error um, so as you can see the product is successfully deleted since we don't have the supplier set but if we remove this one it will trigger an error so the same thing we can add another if statement and here if we're going to delete from products then we can we need to also to delete from the product suppliers but instead of supplier we'll set the product so here this will delete the record from product suppliers where product equals id then if we refresh and if we delete they should be successful so if we refresh as you can see the product has been deleted